The Fram class is a surface combatant that successfully combines French and Italian naval engineering expertise. Four nations operate these frigates and two others will join the club soon. As the weapon detective, we're investigating the Fram class, which is regarded as one of the finest frigates available. The Fram class is named after the initials of the French Frigate Européenne Multimission or Italian Fregata Europea Multimissione, which means European Multipurpose Frigate. It has variants of general purpose, air defense and anti-submarine warfare, shortly ASW. The story of the Fram class dates back to the early 2000s. In those years, France was seeking a new surface combat ship to replace the Tourville and Georges Legui class destroyers, as well as the Destian Dove class Avizos. Italy also planned to replace its Maestrale and Lupo class frigates. Initially, the French and Italians began to study a next generation frigate separately. Then, due to the success of the Joint Horizon class program, these two countries decided to work together and sign a cooperation agreement in 2002. Under the Fram project, France and Italy were to have equal shares and responsibilities. The French DCNS, today's Naval Group, and Italian Fincantieri shipyards began design works. As usual, this multinational program had to deal with many challenges along the way. Initially, France and Italy planned to acquire 17 and 10 frigates respectively in three configurations, ASW, general purpose and land attack variants. However, due to budget cuts and changing requirements, Paris reduced the number of ships to 11 and later to 8 and the land attack variant was subsequently cancelled. Additionally, the partners demanded an increase in the air defense capabilities of the Fram class as they decided to reduce the number of overpriced Horizon class destroyers to be built. Also, the French Navy required a specialized air defense variant of the ship called Frigate de Défense Aérienne or FREDA, which means Air Defense Frigate. In the end, France ordered 8 frigates, 6 ASW and 2 air defense variants, while Italy ordered 10 frigates six general purpose and four ASW variants. Once the uncertainty had cleared, the program was on track. The first French Navy Fram class frigate, Aquitaine, was laid down on March 16, 2007, launched on April 29, 2010 and commissioned on November 23, 2012. France defines its ship as Aquitaine class. The last frigate Logan joined the fleet on November 13, 2023. The first Italian Navy Fram class frigate Carlo Bergamini was laid down on February 4, 2008, launched on July 16, 2011 and commissioned on May 29, 2013. Italy defines its ship as the Bergamini class. So far, eight vessels have been delivered to the Italian Navy. The last two general purpose variant frigates, Spartaco Scargat and Emilio Bianchi were launched in 2023 and 2024 respectively. They are expected to join the fleet in 2025. On July 31, 2024, Italy ordered two additional Fram class ships named Fram Evo. They will be based on the hull of the ASW variant of the Fram class and will be equipped with dual band integrated XC band radar, also used on the Tan de Raval class offshore patrol vessel, Aster 30B1 anti missiles, and Captas 4 variable depth sonar. Furthermore, these ships will feature 30mm Lionfish auto cannons instead of the 25mm KBA 2580. Morocco ordered one French type ASW variant Fram class frigate in 2007 to counterbalance the Algerian Navy's Kilo class submarines. Aramenas Mohamed VI was laid down in 2008, launched on July 16, 2011, and commissioned on May 29, 2013. In 2015, the Egyptian Navy ordered one French-type ASW variant Fram class ship to enter service before the opening of the new Suez Canal. To meet Egypt's deadlines, France provided Normandy, which was initially built for the French Navy. However, her Silver A70 vertical launching system and the Neptune of 4100 jamming equipment were removed before delivery. The frigate was renamed as ENS Tahia Masr. She is fitted with a different SATCOM antenna. Egypt commissioned two additional Italian-type general-purpose variant Fram class frigates, initial built for the Italian Navy in 2020 and 2021. Also, Indonesia ordered six Fram class ships on June 10, 2021. 
These are significant export successes. Yet the major news came from the other side of the Atlantic. On April 30, 2020, the US Navy, the largest in the world, announced the selection of the Frem. Washington has already ordered six Italian-type ASW variant-based frigates defined as the Constellation class. The first ship, USS Constellation, was laid down on April 12, 2024. The US Navy is expected to have 20 Fram-class vessels. As we plan to make a separate video about the Constellation class, we will not mention this program and the ship's features further in this video. The Fram class is a highly stealthy ship. The hull, which has a 10 degree angle, is made of composite materials as much as possible to reduce the radar cross-section. The exhaust pipes of diesel generators are located close to the water level and can be cooled by seawater injection to reduce the ship's infrared signature. The electric propulsion produces nearly no noise. The Fram class also features improved hull contours, propeller shapes, noise absorbers, and shock absorbing platforms to reduce acoustic signatures. The frigate has a specially designed bow that cushions the impact of riding a wave. The widened walkways facilitate access to equipment during maintenance and repairs and enhance routes for removing and installing equipment during replacement. The Fram class frigates require a major 6 month refit every 10 years and routine 2 month maintenance every 3 years. These features provide the vessel with a high level of combat readiness. The hull consists of 11 compartments with 10 watertight bulkheads. The ship can stay afloat even if three of them are flooded. Naturally, there are many visual differences between French and Italian frigates due to weaponry changes based on variants. But the radars are the most obvious ones. The Aquitaine class has the S-band Iracles pyramid-shaped rotating multifunction radar. Its air detection range is 80 km and its surface detection range is 300 km. The Iracles can track 400 targets simultaneously. The Bergamini class vessel's C-band MMSPY790 multifunction radar is also rotating but installed in a dome. Its air detection range is 480 km. The radar can track 300 targets and engage 12 of them simultaneously. The French operate an NH-90 NFH Kaimo helicopter. Italy deploys either an SH-101A or the SH-90A helicopter onto the ship. Egypt and Morocco operate the SH-2G Super Sea Sprite and AS-565MA Panther, respectively. According to Jane's Fighting Ships 2015-2016 edition, the complement of the Aquitaine class is 131 people. The ship has a length of 142.2 meters, a beam of 19.7 meters and a draught of 5.4 meters. Its standard and fully loaded displacements are about 5,220 and 6,100 tons respectively. The combined diesel-electric or gas propulsion system comprises one 43,520 horsepower Fiat Avio GELM 2500 gas turbine, two 2,883 horsepower MEP Jaumont electric motors, and four 2,816 horsepower MTU 16V 4000 M408B diesel generators. Its top speed exceeds 27 knots. The Akitan class frigate's range is over 11,110 kilometers, in other words, 6,000 nautical miles. According to Jane's Fighting Ships 2015-2016 edition, the complement of the general purpose variant of the Bergamini class is 156 people. The ship has a length of 143.9 meters, a beam of 19.4 meters, and a draught of 5.4 meters. Its fully loaded displacement is 6,700 tons. The combined diesel electric and gas propulsion system comprises 141,912 horsepower GE Avio LM 2500 G4 gas turbine, two 2,850 horsepower MEP Jumont electric motors, and four 2,818 horsepower Isotta Fraschini VL1716 diesel generators for the first two frigates. The later eight Italian ships have four 3,755 horsepower HPCR diesel generators. Its top speed is 30 knots. The Bergamini class frigate's range is 12,600 kilometers, in other words, 6,800 nautical miles. The weapon systems of the Fram class frigates differ depending on variants and user countries. All French built vessels carry 8 MM40 Exocet Block 3 anti ship missiles with a maximum range of 180 to 200 km. 
It features a 165 kg penetration warhead and a speed of Mach 0.9. The French ship is currently being equipped with the Block 3C variant, which integrates a digital radio frequency seeker into the missile, making it more resistant to jamming systems. All Italian-built frigates can carry up to 8 Tezeo Mark IIa anti-ship missiles with a range of 180 km, a speed of Mach 0.91 and a 210 kg warhead. In addition to the ENS Tahia Musser of the Egyptian Navy and RMNS Mohammed VI of the Royal Moroccan Navy, Four French vessels are equipped with the 16-cell Silver A43 vertical launching system. This system can launch the Aster 15 air defense missiles, which have a 30km effective range, a speed of Mach 3 and a 15kg warhead. However, its actual effective range is 13km. Beyond this distance, the effectiveness of the Aster 15 begins to decrease geometrically. Two Egyptian, two French and all Italian ships have the 16-cell Silver A50 vertical launching system which can launch both Aster 15 and Aster 30 air defense missiles. The anti-ballistic missile defense capable Aster 30 has a 120km effective range and a speed of Mach 4.5, but its actual effective range is 20km. The first six French frigates also have the 16-cell Silver A70 vertical launching system. Thus, they can launch the MDCN cruise missiles with a range of 1000 km and a speed of Mach 0.65. The Italian general purpose variant has one 127mm LW-127 and one 76mm Stralis gun, while the Italian ASW frigates have two Stralis guns. The LW-127 with a rate of fire of 32 rounds per minute can fire the Volcano guided ammunition with a range of 120 km. The Stralis can fire the dart-guided projectiles against aircraft and sea-skimming missiles. It is currently the highest-range barreled close-in weapon system. The dart can perform 40G maneuvers and has an effective range of 8 km. The French variants have one good old 76mm Super Rapido. The gun has an effective range of 16 km and a rate of fire of 120 rounds per minute. The French-built variants also have two 20mm Narval remotely controlled weapon stations. It has a rate of fire of 800 rounds per minute and an effective range of 1500 meters against aerial targets. The Italian-built variants also have two 25mm KBA-2580 remotely controlled weapon stations. Its rate of fire is 570 rounds per minute and has a range of up to 2 km. The Italian ASW variant Fram class ships have four MILAS anti submarine missiles carrying an active or passive acoustic homing MU 90 torpedo. It has a range of 35 km. All frigates have two 324mm triple torpedo tubes for the MU 90 torpedo, featuring a 32.7 kg shape charge warhead. Its maximum range is 23 km and its maximum speed exceeds 50 knots. The MU-90 can engage a target at a depth of 1000 meters. The Italian-built vessels are also fitted with two Stepmass CS-424 acoustic guns. The Italian Carlo Margottini, Carabiniere, Antonio Marcellia, the French Provence and the Egyptian ENS Tahia missile frigates fought against piracy in the Gulf of Aden. Aquitaine, Uvagni and Languedoc were baptized with fire in actual combat. On April 14, 2018, France, the United Kingdom and the United States jointly conducted a missile attack on Syria. During this operation, Aquitan and Uvagni failed to launch their MDCNs. Yet, Languedoc sent three cruise missiles to the target in Barza and Homshinsu. This attack was also the first operational use of the MDCN. On December 9, 2023, Languedoc shut down two unmanned aerial vehicles in the Red Sea. On March 21, 2024, Alzez intercepted three ballistic missiles coming from Yemen using the Aster 30 missile. On April 29, 2024, Virginia Fazan shut down a Houthi unmanned aerial vehicle in the same region with her 76mm gun. Four nations alongside the program partners have chosen the Fram class. However, the US Navy's selection represents a significant commercial achievement. Nearly 50 ships have been ordered from the Fram class. Yet, the frigate also lost many essential tenders. The Royal Australian Navy and the Royal Canadian Navy preferred the Type 26 class over the Franco-Italian ship. 
Even Greece, which was previously considered as one of the most likely potential customers for the Fram class, chose the FDI class frigates. Actually, it is not a big surprise. Even France reduced the number of Frams and decided to procure FDI class vessels. The Fram class is not just a new frigate, it represents a significant level up. Its capabilities and displacements are highly similar to modern destroyers, making it large and expensive. On the other hand, a smaller sized surface combatant, such as the FDI class, offers the same combat capability in close waters with lower acquisition and life cycle costs. Furthermore, reducing the displacement of a ship lowers its drop, which is more favorable in littoral operations. Some countries do not even need such high capabilities. For example, the Brazilian Navy's new Tamandera class frigates, which won the tender against the Fram class, will carry shorter range sea scepter missiles instead of the Aster. The Fram class is a true warrior. Using it for patrol, low intensity combat, or escort missions for merchant ships is wasteful. The Royal Australian Navy, which already had the Hobart class destroyers, was seeking a replacement for the Anza class frigates. The Royal Canadian Navy's primary mission was to keep the sea lines open in the North Atlantic rather than to engage an enemy fleet in a naval battle. Therefore, the Type 26 class suits these two navies, prioritizing ocean patrol and escort missions. For the USA and Indonesia, which are preparing for a possible naval confrontation with China, the Fram class is the more sensible option. The Fram class is among the most capable frigates. It is also a good indicator of the current political and military situation globally. By examining the tenders this ship has won and lost, we can observe what the world's navies are preparing for. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.